frogfish are part of the Antenaridae family. They are found in tropical and subtropical regions of Atlantic and Pacific, as well as Indian Ocean and Red Sea. They live in water that is 20 degrees Celsius and above. They range from 2 to 40 centimeters. They have between 18 and 23 vertebrae and they don't have scales. And as you can see, they're very clumsy swimmers. But they get the job done. They are good at mimicking for hiding from prey, but also to hunt, which is called aggressive mimicry. To hide better, some are covered with algae. The camouflage aids in protecting from predators and enables them to lure their prey. They are better at walking on the bottom of the ocean than swimming. They have gill openings behind their pectoral fin that they use for propulsion. To move faster, they swallow water and expel the water through their gill openings like jet propulsion. They can be white, yellow, red, green, black or many other colors. Like the clown frogfish, they can also have two colors. But they change color with age. These species prefer to look flashy, to mimic nudie branch. When this one looks like a small white rock. Look at this hairy frogfish. He's almost as bold as me. but he seems to have a small rock stuck in his throat. They resemble stone, corals and sponges.
rather than typical dorsal fin, the frontmost of the three fins is called ilicium and is topped with a lure called esca. For fishing, they move their esca and, when it's attacked by animals, they open wide their mouth, about 12 times their size, and eat very fast. The attack can be as fast as 6 milliseconds. If lost while hunting, the esca can be regenerated. They can expand their stomach and eat prey up to twice their size. They eat shrimp, crab, fish, but also each other. The female can have up to 180,000 eggs. They like to stretch their jaw to make sure they're ready when the prey passes by. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you're interested in more content, you could check 10 Fun Facts Skeleton Shrimp. And if you want to see how I do my videos, you can also watch the series How to do a great underwater video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to be notified. Thank you, see you next time, bye bye.